Welcome back into the show. One of the best things about this time of year is you can add pumpkin to just mm -hmm. about everything and make it better. <laughs> Family foodie Isabel Lasik is back this morning and she is showing me how to make a pumpkin crunch cake. I have to tell you, this is my favorite time of year. First okay. of all, and I love pumpkin, anything yeah. and everything, so I'm all about this. <laughs> we were talking, it kind of resembles like an ooey gooey cake yes. or a chest yes, square, absolutely. something like that. That's exactly what it's like. So the middle is like really creamy and soft and ooey and gooey, exactly like it. you said. And then you have a crunch on top. So okay. it's delicious and so easy to make. Well, I'm going to help you make it. It's basically a dump cake. So I love it. we That's just dump it in. The easier the better. What are the ingredients <laughs> okay. we need to All assemble? Right. So we're going to start with a can of pumpkin puree and make okay. sure it's pumpkin puree, puree, not the pie filling. So oh. you want the real stuff. Yeah. Okay. So start with a can of that. The whole thing in the there, whole huh? thing. Just okay. throw it in. Then the evaporated milk is next. Okay. Pour that in there. Oop. If you're not getting messy in the kitchen, <laughs> get out. <Yeah. laughs> okay, what else? And then sugar. Oh, this is a lot of sugar. Yeah, it's a cup and a half of sugar. Don't look, just pour okay. it in. Yeah, okay. this is the time of year. It's okay. Calories don't count. Right, right. We're going to go with that. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do three eggs. Okay. Put them right in there. Awesome. Two teaspoons of pumpkin spice and two oh. teaspoons of um, cinnamon. Okay. Put them in there. So that's what's going to make it just really, you know, good and delicious. Yeah. So now we're just going to mix it up. And you actually don't have to completely mix it. Okay. Um, you know, give it like a little whirl. The beauty of this cake is that it is truly a dump cake. So okay. you will be okay with putting it in there. But, you know, just give it like a couple little rounds. Okay. You kind of want to get the, yeah. the liquid into the pumpkin. Yeah. All that. Okay. Sure. So then we're going to put it in right into a buttered pan, which okay. I already did before the show. Okay. And Make so, sure it's buttered, y'all. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> or, or you're going to have everything stuck at the bottom. Don't get in trouble with yeah. the cupcake. <laughs> okay, so then after that, uh -huh. you're going to just pour yellow cake mix okay. evenly over the top. And this is easy, just a cake mix. You pick yep. up at the store. Super easy, and that's why Take it's called. Yep, that's why it's called a dump cake. Okay. And are you going to mix this in too yeah. or just have it right on the no, top? No, right on the top. So okay. you just kind of go like this and make sure it's everywhere. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to take butter and pour it over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And if you need to spread it out, just use a little... Oh, look at me, I'm making a mess in here. Good, <laughs> yeah. good. You know it's going to be good you know, since That's it's messy. right. Absolutely. Spread it over the top? Yeah, just okay. spread it over got the it. top. And then you're going to top it with pecans. Oh, here's a crunch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, I was telling you, I love this time of year. What's your favorite time of year, and do you have other fall-themed recipes on the website? Okay, so I love fall. I get very excited for this time of year. Yeah. And to me, my favorite are probably apple recipes. So we have a ton of apple, pumpkin, ah. easy dinners. Um, yeah, so savory and sweet, both savory on the website. Savory and sweet. Yes. Okay, yeah. what's one of the savory dishes? Please say it while I, I try the finished product. Right okay, one uh, so one of the savory is pork chops with apple and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, oh. so good. Huh. Real, it's perfect for this time of year. Okay. Yeah, I so what do you think? That. I love this, guys. Oh yeah. my gosh, the crunch right? and the chewy together. Inside is like so soft and mm. gooey. Okay, so I've tried it, but let's finish assembling. Yes. We put all the ingredients inside. We have to put it into the oven. How long does it stay in the oven for? Okay, so it stays in the oven for about 50 minutes okay. at 350. How do you know it's done? Because you have that gooey part at the bottom, so, so how do you decipher? You know, you could still take a look, and obviously, uh -huh. if your toothpick comes out and there's a lot stuck to it, you need to bring it back in for like five or ten minutes okay. more. Um, but if not, then you're done. Awesome. You're good to go, and you could top it with some whipped cream with pumpkin spice on it. Is that all you added to it? That's it. Oh, That's it. Just whipped cream. Yeah. And uh, two tablespoons of pumpkin spice. Perfect. Isabel, thank yeah. you so much for coming on. I love the recipe. I'm going to try this at home. Me. We appreciate it. Always have a good time with you on a Friday. Isabel, she put this recipe on her website and other fall themed items like we talked about the apples, savory yep. and sweet. Go to SundaySuppermovement.com to find all of those recipes. And let us know if you make it at home. We want to see a picture and maybe we'll show it on air. Absolutely. Well, it takes two to do a pas de deux. These young men from the Patel Conservatory share their love of ballet. I share that love with them. We get a performance coming up next.